Hey, this is Dave Humpers from www.hpyloraisymptoms.com. Very quick video to just talk about the association between Helicobacter pylori infection, anemia, and fatigue and low energy levels. Now, in order to have uh, good energy levels, you need to have plenty of iron and other nutrients such as vitamin B12 and also copper. In order to get those nutrients into your body, you've got to be able to break your food down in your stomach and, inte in, and intestine and pull the nutrients into your body so they get into your blood so that they can carry oxygen around and then be involved in the chemical reactions that they need to be uh, involved in to help your cells make energy. Now, how does that relate to H. pylori? Well, H. pylori is known in some people to actually reduce the amount of stomach acid that is produced. So if you are not producing enough stomach acid, and by the way, this could be going on for years because some people have H. pylori for a long, long time before they're even tested for it. If you have um, low stomach acid, when you eat your food, it goes down your esophagus and into your stomach. There isn't enough acidity there to chop up the food, break all the chemical bonds, release the minerals and also the proteins and things like that, so that once that food gets into your intestine, you can absorb it properly. So you have a problem, it's like a, a negative domino effect from the stomach down within your digestive system and it can lead to bloating, it can lead to um, heartburn, it can lead to constipation, diarrhea, wind and all these horrible symptoms that people complain about. So when H. pylori is present, particularly we find in, in probably the uh, older population, and when I say older I mean probably from 35, 40 onwards, where we think that the body's stomach acid production actually starts to decline a little bit anyway. We see this common problem uh, where people just feel tired. And it isn't just related to H. pylori. If your digestive system's not working properly, there's a very high chance that you're gonna feel tired. Your digestive system is an interface that stops bad things getting into your body and allows good things to get into your body. So if it's not working properly, you get a double whammy. The bad things create an immune response, things like parasites, bacteria, yeast and fungi, and that uses up energy and can lead you, leave you feeling tired. If you can't digest and absorb your foods properly, then it's gonna leave you feeling tired because one of the key reasons you eat food is to make energy in the first place. So iron is one of the main nutrients that we can become deficient in if we have H. pylori. Now, um, it's been conclusively shown that H. pylori can cause iron deficiency anemia. That's in the research, it's in the medical research, it's out there. The problem is most doctors don't read medical journals, so they're unaware of this. When people go to the doctor feeling tired, they don't consider that the problem might be coming from the digestive system. Vitamin B12 is another nutrient, in addition to iron, that can become depleted due to having low stomach acid levels secondary to H. pylori. B12 is really important for the function of your nervous system, it's really important for detoxification, uh, and it's very, very important for uh, energy production as well. So, that's iron and B12. What about copper? Copper is another mineral, and you can have copper deficiency anemia as well. Now, added to the effect of H. pylori directly, as you probably know, um, a lot of doctors give antacid medications because one of the main symptoms of H. pylori is this burning sensation in the chest, in the stomach, in the esophagus, often known as heartburn or acid reflux. So the antacid drugs themselves are designed specifically to shut down acid production. So if you're on those drugs long term or even in the, in the relatively short term, you're not gonna be able to digest your food properly. As a matter of fact, they've just shown in a study recently uh, at the back end of 2013, that the long-term use of proton pump inhibitors, which include things like omeprazole, pantoprazole, lanzoprazole, which have certain brand names that I won't mention here because that puts me in trouble legally potentially, uh, but those drugs shut down acid and they've shown that it can create magnesium deficiency in the body and that that magnesium deficiency might lead to heart disease or certainly complications and issues with the cardiovascular system. So this is a really, really serious issue. So let's just go back to the start and just refresh what we're talking about. People who have H. pylori often have low stomach acid production. You can still have heartburn and acid reflux from having low stomach acid. There are reasons why that I talk about elsewhere uh, in my video series. The lack of acid prevents you from breaking down your food properly. You can't chop up the proteins effectively and you can't release the minerals. 
If you don't absorb those nutrients, particularly iron and copper, but also B12, possibly magnesium, zinc, some of the other major minerals as well, it has the potential to leave you feeling tired. And if you get to a certain point where the levels of things like iron, B12 and copper are too low, then your doctor might diagnose you with anemia. You'll feel tired, apathetic, lethargic, you'll be uh, pale in complexion, you might feel weak, etc, etc. So my recommendation, if you have those symptoms and you also have digestive issues or you've been diagnosed with H. pylori, is to maybe look at things in a little bit more of a holistic way. Take a look at what you're eating get a proper stool test done to figure out if there's anything else going on in your body, to find out whether you're digesting your food effectively or whether you might have other bad bugs in addition to H. pylori. If you'd like any help with that, then you might find my book, The H. pylori Diet, helpful. Uh, and if you'd like to contact us about uh, some of the stool testing services that we can run, all of that's available to you if you go to www.hpylorisymptoms.com. So I hope this video has been helpful. And I look forward to seeing you next time. My name is Dave Hompes and I'll say cheerio for now.